Hey YouTube, it's me Brandy. I'm hopping on today making the quickest little video about how to lighten hair that got too dark. So just two months ago, I went to the hair salon and I got fresh highlights and the stylist <laughs> literally took two and a half hours of doing these tiny, beautiful blonde highlights in my hair and she put a glaze on that was way too dark. Ash glazes are really on trend. Lots of people request ash hair. As you guys can tell from my golden locks, I prefer to be on the gold side of hair color. It's just more flattering for my hair color and for my skin tone. And she put a dark blue toner on my hair. And I basically went home a mucky brunette. So if you can relate to this, you're really gonna find help in this video. And I actually am making this video just because of what I just went through. My name's Brandy Sharp. I'm a beauty and fashion blogger online, and I worked behind the chair with customers and clients for over 13 years. So welcome to my YouTube channel. Make sure you smash subscribe. We're gonna fix it right now, you guys. I am just going to share with you what you should do if this happens to you. A lot of people that get their hair too dark panic and they kind of go into this, oh my gosh, my hair is ruined, my hair is ruined. And since I was a hairstylist and I went home and my bill was over $250, keep in mind that's the number one thing that probably got me upset versus I can't really fix it. It was more like I just paid $250 and my hair's brown. <laughs> so, and I went in blonde, you guys, this is how I wear my hair. For those of you that know on my channel, I am a very light headed brunette. So I was more sad about the $250 versus the actual dark hair because I know how to fix the dark hair. So say you come home from the salon, you have a too dark of a toner on or they, they put too dark of a permanent color, this will still work. This is what I go to even if I, especially over toning, which to me over toning is actually more common now than it is with the dark permanents. Um, I want you to grab your favorite clarifying shampoo. If you guys have Suave at home, Suave is a really great option because Suave goes in and opens that cuticle wide back open. Um, I recommend you can use any shampoo and I want you to fill the shampoo bowl filled or the bowl, fill it with shampoo. Then I want you to grab a 40 volume if you can. If you have 30 volume, that will work. If you have 20 volume, it will work, especially if you're in an emergency situation. Use whatever developer you have. 40 volume just goes in and opens everything right back up. Your The hair color was set into the hair follicle. So the higher the volume, the more it's going to open. So I did use a 40 volume because that's what I personally use. And the 40 volume just quickly opens everything up. You are going to mix the 40 volume in with the shampoo with a scoop of lightener. If you guys don't have a professional lightener, you guys can run up to the grocery store. Get a little highlighting kit from your grocery store, from the Dollar General. Get some kit that has lightener, that has a developer. And guess what is going to be a buffer since you're not a pro? It's going to be your shampoo. The more shampoo that you put in there, the more of a buffer it's going to be because it's gonna dilute the products clear down. So you fill that bowl full of shampoo, you fill it with your developer, you put the lightener in there, you mix it up, make a big batch, and I want you to go in and wash just like you were getting your hair washed. Go in and wash. Depending on the level of darkness, I would do the time. So like I was telling you, mine was just a toner. So I came home, whipped up a batch, and I left it on for about three to five minutes. That's what I would do in the salon. That's what I would do to a client. The biggest difference between me and her was I couldn't believe she didn't say, oh my gosh, the toner got too dark. Let's go fix this. That's what I would do, especially if my client was paying $250. That's what I told her. I said, I can't believe you're not like mentioning how dark my blonde hair is right now. And she's like, well, I thought you wanted to get rid of the gold. And I was like, I never asked to get rid of the gold. You, the trend now is Ash. And I just don't think Ash does a lot of favors for anybody. And that's just a personal opinion I have. She thought that I wanted to get rid of the gold. I never asked her to get rid of the gold. I am a brunette woman with light hair. Therefore, the gold tones are very natural in my hair. Ash tones on women who are over 35, they're gonna give the gray effect. 
And it's like, I don't need the, I don't want the gray effect. I want the light effect, the golden shimmery youthful effect. So grays and blues, blues and grays on a 35 year old plus, it doesn't make a lot of sense. So that's a hot take on that. This is the emergency situation that I'm helping you get out of. Shampoo it, leave it in based on how dark it got. Whether it's permanent or not, you may have to redo the batches several times. And I want you to do several patches or several rounds of this, um, depending on how dark your hair got. Don't go in and just do one long session of it just because you don't want to mess with the other dimensions in your hair and that's what will happen. So you want to go in three to five minutes max, shampoo out, condition, look at it, and if you have to do it again, do it again. I hope that helped. You guys smash subscribe.